Hey everyone, Danny here. Happy Tuesday morning. It's bright and sunny out. I can't wait to see what the day is going to look like. I'm at, uh, I'm in the parking lot of Bow Dog, and I just dropped the dogs off for a day at, uh, you know, just getting pampered and, you know, getting their nails done. So, Cara's getting her nails done, and that is going to be an experience for them. Sorry, Bow Dog, I did warn you. Uh, so I want to take a few minutes before I left to jump in and talk about something that is really near and dear to my heart and has been for the last year and a half, almost two years now. And, um, and it is beach body coaching. And I know that, you know, you're, some may be sick of, you know, seeing me post my food and post my workout and talk about Shakeology and, you know, talk about my life and all that kind of stuff. But you know what? That's who I am. And that's part of uh, who I am right now. And um, it's going to be like that for a long time. So if this is something that you don't want to hear about, then that's totally cool. Then just, you know, stop the video and, you know, go on about your day. But I want to talk to those of you who have supported me and thank you for supporting me and being a part of my journey and you know you know help my health and fitness journey and um listening to how you know how it's changed me physically and emotionally and mentally and I feel like I've done a little bit of a disservice because I haven't talked much about the actual opportunity and what it really has done for me and for my relationship with Dave and um you know what we're doing for our future so I just want to talk about it because I think it's really important for other people to know about it and for you to know about it and um, understand that, you know, this is not something, I'm not trying to recruit you, I'm not trying to sell you anything, I'm not, uh, there's no agenda here except for just kind of me explaining what it, is, what it has done for me and what I know it can do for me. So when I first started as a coach, it was, you know, after I did the 21 day fix, the first round of the 21 day fix, and I got really great results. And then, um, I had my coach, Alex, who, who kind of sought me out. I was actually a lead. So, uh, when you purchase a beach body product, you're, um, like just off the site, then you become a lead for a coach. And she found me and I was kind of like hesitant on the whole thing. I'm like, you know what? I don't want to, I don't want anything to do with coaching. I don't like, I, the word coaching just freaked me out. Like I just wanted to do the program and drink my shake and just live my normal life. Right. But I'm really glad that she was persistent and I said, okay, fine, I'll do it. And then like, just because I wanted the discount because I'm like, you know what? Um, I'm not going to be proud about anything. I want to save, you know, I'm a girl. We like deals. We like sales. Like that's just how it is. So if I could save money on my product, cool. Two thumbs up. Totally cool. So that's what I did. And then it became something where you know, when I was younger, just kind of give you a little bit of background. When I was younger, I was kind of like the black sheep in my social circle. And I didn't even really have a social circle. I was not someone that was really outgoing. I kept to myself. Um, I did things to kind of please other people. And, you know, I was really insecure. So I kind of, I did some things to, you know, please other people and um, just just wasn't, it wasn't me and it wasn't comfortable and it wasn't something that, um, you know, was good for my self-esteem. So, and I was never someone that inspired anyone or motivated anybody. And, um, you know, when I got into coaching and when I got into, you know, my second round of 21 day fix and was in a challenge group, I was holding myself accountable. I found myself in the groups holding myself accountable. And as a coach, I was put into a leadership position. Um, you know, my, my coach, you know, said, start posting this and talk about this. So I did that. And cause I wanted to get out of my comfort zone. I wanted to change who I was and trying to develop me. And I know, you know, I'm was 30 at the time. So like, that's a little bit, seems like a little bit late, but you know what? later is better than ever, right? So I started developing me, like internally me, just a little bit more. And that that came out and I was, you know, as my results started to come in and as I was, you know, sharing my story every day, just even with the people just in the challenge group, I started getting messages saying, you know, you know, you're really inspiring me. Like, um, I actually come onto the page just to hear what you have to say and just to see what you're doing. Because when I see that you're doing a workout, when I see you're, you know, you're following your meal plan and you're actually getting results, makes me want to get up and get my workout done, even though I'm tired as shit. Yes, I'm going to swear. I apologize, but that's just how it is. So, um, I apologize if you take offense to that, but that's just how, um, that's how it's going to be because I'm really passionate about it. And, um, I didn't realize how passionate I was about it until, 
you know, um, a couple months into coaching and I was like, huh. And I didn't, I didn't realize I was coaching because I was doing it just for the discount, honestly. And then, um, when people were saying, you know, I was inspiring them and motivating them, it threw me off because I'm like, what? I, I, I don't motivate people. I don't inspire people. I don't have, um, a persona of, you know, emulating positive results, but apparently I did. And that made me feel really good that, you know, went into like, kind of like my love bank. Right. And, um, I wanted to do it even more. And knowing that I could inspire someone and motivate someone just to even take that extra step to getting healthier and fit and, um, you know, feeling better about themselves in the smallest way possible, either it's a book suggestion or, um, you know, a workout suggestion or, you know, just even just tell them to drink some more water or get more sleep or whatever it was, or even just to talk about their day and see, see what's going on just to give them that extra love and help them have, have a better day and have better results. That was amazing. That felt great. And, it made me want to do it even more. And, you know, it really touches my heart when I'm seeing people get results. And, um, I remember stopping, I was in, when I was working downtown, I was in my office building and I was, I was coming out of work and I got a video from, uh, a, a challenger or a fellow coach that wasn't even my coach. She was a, a coach under someone else and she was in our group, but she did a little video, a shout out to me. And I'm, I'm not bragging here. This is just something that it is important to me. Um, she did a little shout out and she said, I'm sorry, I'm going to get crying because it's, um, it was really emotional for me. And I was, um, she took the time and she, she did a, a little video in our group and said, you know what? I wanted to do a little shout out to Danny for always being there and, um, showing up every day and telling me that I could do better and I could be better and I am better. And, um, she was saying all of these things. It was like a two-minute video, but she was saying all of these things, and I stopped in the middle of, um, in the middle of the lobby, and I was bawling my eyes out because it was just so inspirational and so motivational that I was so happy that I could make a difference in her life, in just in just one person's life, and um, and it just it validated what I was doing. And I didn't realize that I was doing that. I thought I was just, you know, showing up for me. And I was like giving, you know, tips of what I've learned to other people. And to know that I made that big of a difference in our life too, um, to make that shout out to me, that was amazing. And, um, it just made me want to do it more. And as I grew my team and saw that they were doing more and helping other people, it just, it just fills the love bank. And, that is what I do as a coach. That is what we do as a community, as Team Beachbody. Um, we know we don't set anyone up for failure. We help each other out. No matter what team you're on, we help each other out. We get everything is um, everything is shared amongst us, and we want to help as many people as possible, and um, love as many people as possible, and meet and you know cherish and you know, welcome one another every single day. And that's what we're doing. We're trying to build a community and help trend end the trend of obesity. And that's exactly what we're doing. Um, not everyone has good days. We all, we all share our struggles and our successes. And, um, we learn about failing forward and we learn about non-scale victories because, you know, the scale is not something that, you know, proves whether or not you're doing well. Okay. It's, you know, it's about, um, if you're mentally better, if you're, you know, either physically feeling physically better, if you're getting off your blood pressure pills. If you're, um, don't have to take your thyroid medication anymore, you know, like, um, I've had people off their, um, depression medication and it's just, uh, it's just amazing to see these different changes, um, that people are making just by investing in themselves and knowing that they can be their own strong and show up for themselves and, um, you know, be there for a community and help other people. And that's why I do what I do. That's why I keep going. And, um, you know, like I said, I don't always have the best days. I don't always have the best weeks. I have, you know, some coaches lead the team, some coaches come on the team and it's just, it doesn't matter. Like I still going to keep going and that's what I want to do. And I, you know, you may see me posting pictures of, Oh, I'm on a team call and, um, Oh, I'm going to Nashville. Like we're going to Nashville again this year. I'm going to kind of flash you here. We're going to Nashville again, uh, for summit. And that is where like, 20, 30, 40,000 coaches are going to be in the same area doing the same thing, like learning about each other, learning about the business, learning about, um, how to be better leaders and just having fun, having big group workouts and just, um, you know, just 
being friends like and that's that's amazing i'm so excited for summit this summer and um you know you see pictures of me at events and there's a reason for that is because there is a movement that is happening and it um this is why I'm doing what I'm doing because I want to be a part of that movement and I want to make a difference in someone's life and um, even just, you know, one more person. Um, that's what I want to do. And uh, I do have other dreams. I am a writer as well. And um, that's my first and foremost dream. And I'm <clears throat> working on that every day. Um, but, you know, right now, and especially not working, Beachbody is allowing me to have an income as well and um, just building a team and that income is helping Dave and I get one step closer to Ireland. And it's something that I know that I can count on every single week. And, um, it's, you know, it, it helps Dave and I get closer because, you know, we're keeping each other accountable with our workouts and, um, talking to each other about, um, our successes and reading personal development books together and, you know, um, for each other and with each other and talking about it. And, um, we've just become closer as a couple because we know that when we're healthier and we're feeling better, then we're, we can love each other more and harder and, um, and stronger. And we are a better unit. It's from day one, as soon as I started 21 day fix, we've been a closer unit. Yeah, sure. We fought, but we fight about a lot of things like couples do, but, Beachbody has brought us so much closer and, um, in so many ways that I can't help. I've become more confident and, um, and stronger in myself. And I'm still learning about myself every single day. And he's also learning about himself and the fact that we can talk about it and communicate with each other. It just, um, has a whole new element to our relationship and I couldn't be more prouder. And I want to continue to do this and I want to, um, help as many people as possible because I want to make a difference in not only our life, but I want to make a difference in my sister and her family's life, my brother and his family's life and, um, help as many friends and family members as I can and, um, keep moving this forward and mean as many people as possible and, and, um, grow my network and inspire as many people as I can because my community inspires me and, um, I just want to pay it forward. So that is why I am a beach body coach. I, um, I know some of you may be sick of it, sick of seeing it, and that's totally fine. It's not, it doesn't have to be for you, but that is what I'm doing. So I love every single one of you who have, you know, have helped me and supported me and, um, have, um, just been there every single day and even just to listen to what I have to say or, you know, watch my videos or see my posts. I'm, I really appreciative of that and, um, I'm going to keep doing it. I'm going to keep writing. I'm going to keep loving on my family and my friends and um I couldn't be happier and this is why I'm a Beachbody coach and um I'm very grateful for my community and for the Team Beachbody community cuz um together we're stronger and we're changing lives every single day. So thank you very much for watching this video. Um I'm going to get going cuz I'm sure I'm going to get kicked out of this parking lot. So um have a good day everyone. Love you. Talk to you later.